pretty good. Uh, who do we have here today? Uh, it's Paul DiCillo. And what are we doing? Uh, we're going to jump out of that perfectly good plane right there. That one? Yeah, I think so. Oh man, you're crazy. I know, it's, it don't, look, don't sound that good. Why are you doing this? Uh, I was told I had no choice if I wanted to stay living at home. Okay. Yeah. So they threw you out of a plane? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, if I, I don't get to go home, so I go off the plane. All right. I'm really scared. All right. Well, uh, we'll get you some altitude here in a little bit. Get you out about 14,000 feet, 2.7 miles above the ground, going straight down at 120. That it? That's all. Oh. You got this. I was, I was over around the building throwing up and everything around the corner. Oh, man. And I was afraid that I was going to urinate all over my instructor, so oh. hopefully I'll be all right. You can still do that if you want. Okay. All right. Uh, you got any last words you'd like to say to anybody before we go up? I didn't think that far ahead. No, all right. <laughs> Give me a big old thumbs up and we'll get you on your way. Woo! You made it. I think I made it. All right. So, uh, did you enjoy it? Oh yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, the initial jump out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's something that you did, like you never feel it before. What was your first thought coming out of the plane? Why am I doing this? <laughs> well, I know why. It's because I wanted to go back home. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you might make another jump? Oh, of course. When you do, make sure you come see Adam here at Skydive Tennessee. All right. I will. Hey. Uh, I thought I would trust him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>